Salt Lake Community College journalism students Bao Lam, Bonnie Fox, and myself, Teresa Chikowski, went to the Taylorsville Redwood campus to ask students how they felt about the upcoming election. When students were asked to compare this presidential election to previous presidential elections, some said COVID made the previous and the current election significant. They're all important in their own ways because during COVID, it was bad because everybody had to stay inside and stuff. So its importance and the impact it had on people was heavy, including that now with how the economy is working out and prices going on. I feel like it's very important, especially after COVID. There's so many things that have changed. Other students mentioned how divisive the two parties and people across the country have become. I feel like this one is like holds heavier weight because of, you know, Kamala Harris being a black female. Well, I think it's super important because of the division we've had over the last eight years, starting from Trump and Clinton from 2016 and then the 2020 election was just super divided and now we're kind of just we don't know who's better uh, a lot of the time a lot of people are haven't done their research so they're kind of just picking what they like there's a big shift i feel that there's a shift happening in politics right now where it's a lot more definitive when asked if there would be a peaceful transition of power regardless of who won the election, there was a mixed result of answers. I'm not entirely like sure about that because, I mean, there's been a lot of like, I guess, issues and stuff like that you've been able to see on the news about what's going on and that there's a lot of like hate. I'm not sure there might not be because of what happened last year where there was riots. Um, I feel like the only way to actually have a peaceful transition is if the people can accept whatever is happening. 100% this is going to be a peaceful transition just because it, we're in America and it's a society of free thinking and you know freedom. So no matter who in, uh, ends up winning the election, we're I mean it's not going to change a whole lot for a bunch of us because we're still going to be going about our day-to-day -day lives. Um, I hope so, but I don't believe so. Um, I think that the last few elections have shown that people want to protest whoever becomes president, and I do believe that this time around it is a bigger election than the previous ones. Well, I'm hoping that there's that peaceful transition of power. However, due to the events of January 6th last year, I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, but if I have to take a guess, I'm hoping that they learn from their actions last year. Definitely feel like there's a timeline and an avenue where it can be peaceful, but that would take uh, people to understand one another. Some were surprised by Biden's withdrawal, but were excited about Harris as the Democratic candidate. Yeah, Biden dropping out was truly unexpected, honestly. But considering his age, it was just a matter of time, you know. Uh, but the way I feel like Kamala Harris coming into coming into play was very intriguing in the for this society honestly because as I said her being a black female which makes her stand out over the rest. It was definitely surprising when I heard that Joe Biden dropped out of the race considering on how I guess excited you would say he was to run again. It didn't really change the way like it didn't really persuade my way of thinking for the election. I think Kamala is a really good candidate. I think it was surprising that he dropped out. Um, I feel like it's made me more hopeful for this election. It's made it so that I'm more excited to vote and it's less choosing two people that I, choosing between two people that I don't support. One student was not surprised at all by Biden dropping out of the race. Well, I think him dropping out was not a huge surprise. I don't think he would have won the election anytime soon with uh, the way he ran our country the last what, three and a half years. Some wish they had been given an opportunity to explore other Democratic candidates or at least get to know the current Democratic candidates. One thing that's really important is that I think is wrong is that um, Kamala Harris was just forced into the Democratic uh, side of the election and it wasn't like we could explore other options for the Democratic Party. It was kind of just forced upon us that Kamala Harris was the option. So I think that since Kamala Harris has come in kind of like a later time, people are going to have a harder time trusting her. Um, since we've seen her with Biden and everything, 
like seeing their administration together. I don't know if they necessarily still like the best from Kamala Harris quite yet, but I'm excited to see how she continues to campaign. One student just wants to prioritize the nation's best interests. I do want the nation to be in good hands, and if Kamala Harris is able to have the country in good hands, then uh, that's something I will look forward to. Donald Trump could take the country to the next level. That was something I would stand for. But I do want to see more uh, community, unity, love, and peace in the world and in the nation. The most common place students got their news on candidates was social media. Probably Apple News. Well, I get my news mostly through Apple News because that's where I get alerts from and it tells me about what's going on in the world. It would be on social media uh, platforms, TikTok, Instagram, uh, also just uh, on the internet whenever I'm scrolling through the news. Most of the time it's usually Instagram. If it's not social media, then I usually watch the news every now and then. Um, mainly from social media, but I follow news articles and such and news outlets, and I always fact check. In addition to social media, some students receive their news from dialogue with family. My oldest sibling has to get information on it. You know, I have a lot of conversations with my family about the election, so generally that's where I'm getting my information from. A couple of students considered the human factor in this election. People are still human. Sometimes you can bring in presidents or humans. We need to start speaking more on sensitive topics and finding dots to connect with one another and find open ground and groundwork to work together. So let's go. The last day to register to vote is October 25th. There are some circumstances when an individual can register to vote the day of the election. Go to vote.org to learn more.